Hey, look at it, guys and gals. The Welsh Ender here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time, we are getting it all in re dot dot touring. Now, this was developed by Malta Vibe. I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And published by the people's favourite, Sometimes You. So, re touring is basically a first person puzzle game in which we explore this um, uh, factory or as it's called, Luoni Energy Competence Center. And it's effectively one of those uh, really cool puzzle games where we have to use this retro-style computer to create color patterns and um, have to get through lasers and all sorts of stuff. It's pretty cool and very enjoyable. Uh, now, as for achievements, obviously you get the normal story-related ones. There's a couple of miscellaneous ones as well, but nothing's too... I mean, you can't really miss anything because there's chapter select at the end of the game. So if you do end up missing something, that's all good. No worries. Um, in terms of collectibles, there are none, um, which makes it a little bit easier. And the other thing I should say is this is going to be one of those rare no commentary guides, purely because it is just a case of you following along and just pressing the same buttons that I press. It's really not that difficult at all. And it hopefully should be easy to follow along, but you should get this done in around 40 to 45 minutes. So with that being said then, let's do it. So it's the Y button to zoom in or the triangle on PlayStation, if you so wish. A couple of things I will explain first. Um, if we head to the left, now going through every room, we are going to try and open up some doors. It, basically for an achievement, you have to try and open 15 locked doors of which there are 30 in the game. So let's not try and break into the woman's toilet because, you know, that's an arrestable offense. Uh, sit in the chair for your first achievement of the game. Um, but that's all we got to do, really. So, again, it is just a case of following, al uh, following along. Just try all the locked doors that I do. Again, if you do end up missing any, you will get... Uh, you should be able to get chapter select at the end of the game. Just another achievement, uh, another miscellaneous achievement here. Literally just press all the buttons until it doesn't matter which order it's in. Um, but press every button twice until the lights go off, and that's going to get us a, another achievement. So, yeah, like I said, it's going to be a no commentary guide, and I know you're all just devastated not hearing me talk crap for um, a good 40 minutes for a change. But yes, it is, as I said, it's going to be one of those um, easy enough puzzle games where you can, like I said, just follow along. Like I said, just make sure to try and interact with every door when we get out of every room and I will sort of pop in when we are going to be coming up to an achievement um, one of the miscellaneous missable achievements if you wish just so I can uh, let you know Right, so in this room, we're going to get the out of order achievement. This is for solving two puzzles in a room in the wrong order. So as you can see with the lights there at the top of the door, um, instead of following that, what we're going to do is um, just put these uh, two right hand side switches to red and that should unlock the out of order achievement. And then you can just crack on as normal and then just turn them blue and then it's job knob done.
Yeah, so hopefully then the pacing of the guide is not so bad. Uh, let me know if it was a bit too quick or too slow. Obviously, you've got the pause button as well. Make sure to interact with the record player here for the record collector achievement. If you somehow miss this one, there are plenty of others in the game as well, but just keep your eye out for that one. And then we're going to be coming up to uh, another achievement soon where we're going to successfully create our first endless loop. It's going to be in a few rooms time, so keep your eyes peeled and your ears peeled her. And in fact, this be the room. So you get a new button there. So basically we can uh, put the machine going right, left, or staying in the middle where it doesn't move at all, um, which I will show you right now. So we're gonna re reset the machine right here. And then what we'll do is put the one button to blue. And then again, once you move the pointer to the left, um, it effectively goes the other way, which makes it, uh, yeah, get a little bit more complicated. But in fact, this, uh, the achievement that I was referring to was not in that room, apparently. But we're almost there. We, we, we're going to get there. Oh, yeah. And of course, this is the old typical pick up a box and put it in a, um, in a square where we can open up doors and stuff. You know, we've done this in plenty of puzzles games, I'm sure. Now, it is actually this room that we're going to get it in. So, obviously, we can see the uh, retro console. So, as I said, the white button, we're just going to put that where it basically looks like an eye, which is for not moving the pointer. Stop the, start the machine, and that is how you'll get the endless fun, which I'm sure it is, achievement.
So if you've been trying every locked door in the game, this is where you should get the nothing to see here achievement. Again, that is for trying to open 15 locked doors throughout the game. Uh, again, if you don't have it yet, just keep trying to open up some locked doors. Um, again, there are 30 in the game, or roughly about 30, something like that anyway. So you should get it eventually. Okay, so next achievement again, very easy one. What we're going to do is get up onto the platform. So we're going to start the machine and then we're effectively going to go up onto the next platform. So walk onto it now. Uh, again, if that happens, uh, <laughs> don't panic. Don't worry. It's all good. You can just go ahead and drop down and reset the machine and then do it again. But we're not going to go all the way up. So we're going to go up till about the third platform and then we're going to jump into the water and that's going to get the pool day achievement. Thank you. 
Right, so we are getting there now, coming up close to the end of the game, but before walking through the double doors, interact with this puzzle here. This is going to get us another achievement called Acquire the Taste. I don't know why it was Italian, but it is.
So there we are then, guys and gals, that was the last level. So that is another Sometimes You Classic completed. So just want to say thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members as always, and anyone who interacts with me on the daily. So thank you so much again. Guys and gals, I'll see you in the next one. Big love.